Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about the interval match function. So as the name suggests, the interval match functions applies on the interval data. Now we can have a different types of interval data related to a start date or an end date, something like a start date of an employee or end date of an employee in a particular department. Or another classic example is the financial or the fiscal year uh, uh, information that each company or each different you know uh, country follows about uh, for their financial records another example can be the production schedule runs so for example if, if there is any production company for whom the schedule is running from 18 fab to 28th fab or 22 fab then 27th fab then this is the example of an interval data Another example can be on the right hand side is salary start date and end date where salary start date and end date is related to the different types of levels that we have in a company. Another example is the temperature data. So, so this is for example here in this case 12 to 20 degree of cell, degree Celsius temperature refers to a little bit of mild summer and then uh, from 24 to 35 is like proper summer temperature and from 35 degrees Celsius to 45 degrees Celsius like very hot summer time. Uh, and uh, the last example I have you for interval data is the uh, from the students like they receive the grades and according to the grade uh, marks according to the marks they have the grades. So 91 to 100 if we are saying that's a grade A, B and C according to the marks that they get and based on this interval. Uh, so this gives an, ex an idea about how many different types of interval data can be out there. So there are just quite a few interval data. And the idea is that, uh, uh, let's say for example, uh, if a student uh, uh, table is there where a hundred different student information is there and their marks are given, then how we can really relate those marks to this interval and then figure out the information. Let's say for example, who, how many students are in grade A, grade B or grade C. So since uh, this inter the student data is not connected uh, or not connected by a common key to this uh, table, uh, we cannot really identify the grade A, B, C or any other relevant information according to our needs. So that's the example I have shown here in the next uh, slide where uh, we are, what I'm trying to show is that uh, uh, we have the same table grade uh, grade start date start uh, marks or end marks and then the student table where i have a few students name and the marks that they have got uh, in their uh, uh, academic session so he, we will see in this case how we can really uh, create a link between these two tables using the interval match function and then populate the grades for the relevant students. So let's move on to the next slide. Uh, here I have the uh, ClickView script which I will show you in a ClickView system also. So just for the explanation this is the first table that we have loaded where we have the grade, start date, end date information. Uh, on the second table we have the student and marks is the same one which I was having here. So these are the two tables that we have loaded. The third table is an additional table is a bridge table so what it takes is interval match the marks field from this table the marks table it takes a mark and then we load the start and end of start or end fields from the grade table and then what it does it takes the mark takes this interval and matches the mark with this interval so that's why the name is there interval match it takes this interval match the marks and create a link so this table once you create it will going to uh, give you a synthetic key but that's not an issue do not try to resolve that it's it has been created purposefully so that uh, you have a link between these two tables now let's go to the uh, click view script and see it in action so here i have the same script the grade table the student marks table and then finally the bridge table which is creating a bridge between these two tables and once I hit the reload it gives me back 
these tables which I have already created for you. So now uh, if I want that uh, I need to select let's say 72 or 75 in this case then I know that okay this is a great C but if I let's say for example if I go back again into the script and just comment out this bridge table which is being created using interval match function by using command and then reload it again then I will not be able to understand or not be able to relate the marks table to this table so in this case if I select B nothing is being really selected to give me how many students are there uh, in the marks or in the student table who has got the B grade so let me go back again and enable the script for you click on command save and reload okay now I have not I've done nothing but uh, because my B grade was selected all of those students who got the grade B is now selected over here if I clear this out here is this all this table if I need to select grade A so there is no students who have got the grade A if I need to see how many students got grade C there are two students who really got the grade C so before I close this I will just show you the synthetic key or the bridge table so that's how a bridge has been created uh, using a synthetic key which create have the start date and end date and marks table here and start date and end date from this and then finally create a bridge table so that's not an issue it's been created purposefully so that's pretty much all I wanted to discuss in this video about uh, uh, how to create a connection between these two tables by utilizing the interval match and I'm planning to cover the next topic about the slowly changing dimension uh, which is also a part uh, that we cover by utilizing the interval match function so I will be presenting that uh, slowly how to take care of slowly changing dimensions in the next video so till then uh, I hope uh, you will find this video useful in understanding interval match function and I'll meet you in the new video with a new topic